What's going on guys and welcome back to another episode of Ark Astraos. Last we left off we tamed this cute little salamander or gecko named 15. You know named after the Geico commercial. We also tamed a female raptor which kind of has terrible stats. I mean it was only a 130 but a 130 usually has a good chance of having good stats. And we also got um, this thorax spider. This was the main thing we got. Looking cool as all hell, if I do say so myself. Let me just put some stuff away that I've gotten drops and whatever. So yeah, in today's episode, I'm thinking about getting an Ankylo. And then next episode, we're going to officially move out. Find a new place to live. Because this place is nice and all, but we need to explore a bit more. So yeah, I'm thinking about taming an Ankylo in today's episode. And then we're going to be good to go. So... What I might do is just put you in a Pokeball and only take you out when we find something. When we find something worth taming. I'll just put you away, Sphinx. And then we'll take the Argentavis out for a spin. Pteranodon, we can park you like over here or something. You're a little faster, but you don't have as much stamina. We'll take the RG since we have one. Alright. So in today's episode, we're going to see if we can get an Ankylo. So we'll be able to cover a lot of ground with this flyer. So we'll be able to explore a lot more. There's a red drop here. I'd like to see what's in it. If we can. Alright, so it looks like that red drop might still be trying to drop and whatever. We'll see if we can get to it before it disappears. If we don't, we don't. Simple as that. So for Ankylos, we're looking for, like, a high level. I'm thinking 130 is the lowest we'll go. We just need it for, like, carrying stuff, basically. That's all we really need it for. Alright, that's a level 15 Diamantinosaur. There's, there are a lot of red drops here. We could try and get some more red drops. I think that's a red boosted drop. Wow, there's like drops everywhere. Huh. I've leveled you up a bunch, so we should have enough stamina to get there. We'll of course stop and uh, get this drop, and we'll explore the mountains, see if we could find any Ankylos, and then we should be good to go. It literally just dropped. Huh, so we got some saddles. Where's the RG? There it is. Alright, so we got an Ascendant Barsboldia saddle. And an Ascendant Diamantinosaur Helmet. Let's just put that in the Argy's inventory. So we, like, have whatever. Alright, I think that red drop disappeared. So let's look around the mountain and see what we've got for creatures. There's a Therizino. What level are you? 15? Alright. We just need something that's, like, really good. That's what we need for, like, carrying stuff and whatever. There's a Maelania here that's a 50. There's a level 60 Majungasaurus. You know, we could kill that for, like... We could kill that for the saliva. Uh, how are we only... Oh, that's a 140. That was a 140, um, Therizino. Oh, yeah, this guy has a huge damage resistance. Oh, he does a lot more damage. He just did a lot of damage. That's a 145 Antrodemus. I don't know if this guy has a baby or not, but... Yeah, Majungasaurs have a huge damage resistance, it looks like. I was gonna kill it for like... Alright, wait. Yeah, we leveled up melee. So let's uh, get some more health done. Let's get up to 20k health or 30k health maybe. Or should we get it up to 50k? Let's get 50k and then just put the rest into melee. So even though it only has 1500 health, it has a huge damage resistance it looks like. I kind of want to just kill this Majungasaurus so we can... so we can get its saliva. Yeah, we do way more damage with the lion. We're good to go. Way more damage with the lion. I will collect the saliva. 
just in case we run into a high level. We can trank it, and then we'll be good to go. Alright, have some meat. Alright. Does this Antrodemus have a baby? It doesn't look like it. 145 is a really good level. Or 140, even. It's a really good level. It's got 28 health and 24 melee. It could be good. That's an Alpha Eocarcaria. Okay. First time I've seen one of those. That is interesting. Alright, let's look for an Ankylo. Uh, we're only on low health because we're kind of healing and whatever. We got, uh, we leveled up a bit. That's kind of why. Alright, so we're kind of in new territory here. So I don't really know what to expect. Quick before the compies get here. We got a pipe. Okay, that's good. That was a 145 compie. Let's heal up a little bit. Alright, I just gotta use the bathroom. I'll be right... Oh, Dragonfly, piss off. I just gotta use the bathroom. I'll be right back. Alright. So what were we doing? Oh yeah, finding an Ankylo. I should probably kill something for food. Or for health and healing and whatever. There's a couple of Dodos here we could kill. Or there's like a... A Bronto here we can kill. Let's make sure we heal up. There's a couple of aloes. I don't know if... There's a 145 aloe here that just killed a Thorax spider. Huh. You're kind of a nice color. You got the pinks and the blues and... Hmm. 145, 19 points into health and 19 into melee. Nothing too crazy, but it's like... Oh, we got a 20 Majungasaurus. There's a Gigantoraptor. What level are you? 25? We still got our Gigantoraptor that we could, you know, take out. If we can find any obelisks, that is. There's another Antrodemus. These Antrodemuses are everywhere. That's a 20. They're everywhere. There's some crystal. We do need crystal. What is this? Oh, this looks cool. I want to see what this is all about. That I think that's an Antrodemus. No, that's an Eocarcaria, level 55. This looks like some sort of, like, village area. Can I just explore this real quick without getting eaten? Alright, RG, you stay here. You are looking worse for wear. I should probably heal you up more. But that's only because I leveled you up a bunch. That is cool. That's like a, a Spartan, I think. Spartans were Greek, right? I think they were. Alright, let me just check this place out. Wow. Wow. Wow, this this is cool. This is really cool. I gotta be honest. We found some landmarks. Alright, let's explore the rest of this um, village. There's another statue here. There's another building over here, too. There's a couple of statues. I think a village was here at one point. Like, people, people used to live here. Alright, stay right there, RG. Wow. Look at this. This is awesome. You know, I could easily build a base here. If the game will allow me to. Let's continue upwards so we can see if we can find an ankle over here. There's a stego, but we need something that can gather metal. That's a 135. 19 points into health, 25 into melee. That's like pre-tamed. Keep in mind. What I might do after I move out, I might bring back some tames from previous series. As like maybe my... Scorched Earth Tames, or maybe my Aberration Tames, like the Aberrant, um, Gigantoraptor, if it'll even allow me to. That's the Green Obelisk, I'm guessing. Alright, let's continue our search for an Ankylo. We haven't found any yet, but hopefully there's some around here. There's a Dodicarus, probably. 130, okay. A 130 Dodicarus. We'll keep you in mind. We got ants after us. Let's kill them. 
Oh, what is that? That's got blue thing. An astral raptor. It's got 5,000 health. I think we can kill it. Ants? Really? I think we can take it. Especially with the amount of damage we do. Let's go. Surely we'll get some loot from that. An Astral Raptor. So I'm guessing they're classed as Alphas. That's what I'm guessing. Alright, let's see what we got from that. 113, that's 100. A slightly better hatchet. We do have a blueprint for an Ascendant hatchet. And an Ascendant Thyla saddle. That could be good in the future when we tame a Thyla. Medical Brew. I wonder if we can use that to heal Tames. I guess that only heals ourselves. Alright, it is getting dark. So let's go ahead and Gamma. That was our first astral creature. I guess that's Astraos' equivalent to Alpha's. We got a yellow drop. A game. Game. Thank you. Let's see what's in it. What do we got? Ascendant Dinosuka Saddle. That could be really good. And a wind turbine. That could also be really good for when we power stuff up. Yeah, that'd be cool. Let me just put this in here so we don't accidentally drop this stuff only eventually. Alright. We do have to be careful with of Hyena Dawns. Got another Antrodemus. That's a 15. Any Ankylos in the air? There's a 140, Antrodemus. Hmm. What was this guy? That's a 140 male star rhino. That's cool. Alright, Ankylo, Ankylo. We need an Ankylo. Where are the Ankylos? Ankylos, what? What is this all about? I'm guessing that's the green obelisk, but what is this all about? This must be the green obelisk. Alright. Let's see what we're dealing with here. What have we got? Yeah, this is definitely an obelisk. What do we got? Generate Natrix the Devious. Ooh, that looks interesting. Artifact of the Clever, Massive, and Hunter. So this is basically the green obelisk, so this would be Astraos' equivalent to the Broodmother, right? You'd think. Natrix the Devious, we would have to get into that at some point. Alright, um, let me see, creatures. Oh, we could bring back Sapphire. That would be Fire Flame. Hmm, let me see, uh, let me, let me download Nanny. I'll download Nanny, just so we have a Gigantoraptor. I'm just downloading a few creatures, just so we can use them. Especially the, uh, we could bring Ed back. There you are, buddy. How you doing? How you doing, Ed? Alright, you can go away for now. And I'll only bring back one more creature. Let's see. We already got Drago. Wait, Drago is a male, right? I think you're a male. What gender are you? Female. We could breed them up if we wanted to. We'll, we'll come back. We'll come back. So, let's... I want to get Sapphire out. Yeah, we'll get Sapphire up. Wait a minute. I can use Sapphire as a shoulder pet, couldn't I? You know, let's do that. Gecko, 15, you're cool and all, but... I'd rather have my... My, uh, Sapphire out. There we go. Alright. 
Let's go. Wait, is that an astral? That is an astral Argentavis. 12,000 health. Jesus Christ. Can we... Can we take that? There's a lion here. That's a 50 lion. Can we take an RG? 94 damage? You know what? We'll take it. No, that's ours. That's mine. What do we get from that? Oh, we got a better pick, and it looks like a Diplo saddle. Huh. Cool. So there's Astral Argentavises around here. I wonder what other Astral creatures we can run into. Maybe an Astral Rex? Or an Astral Spino or something? This is 25 Spino here. Okay, this has got to be Ankylo territory. There's a Thurizino. That's a 145 Thurizino. Okay. 30 points into melee doesn't seem too bad either. Hmm. I mean... We could tame a Therizino. I'm not opposed to it. It'd be a really good wood gatherer. You know what? Screw it. There is no taming it is. I don't know if we'll be able to get a saddle for it yet, but we'll be able to do something. Alright, simple bullet. You can go away. Sapphire. Kill everything in the area. There's a Dodicarus here. 55. We do 1,500 damage. That's a 145 ally. Of course, that's a 145. I mean, if we need metal, we've got this Master Craft um, pick. So we can always use that to gather metal. That's a baby max level Lister. Are you all alone, buddy? Aw, oh, buddy. Come here. I'll take good care of you. I will take good care of you, buddy. You'll have a good home. Alright, now with the Rizinos, we do have to watch out. Because they have this bite attack that will knock the rider out. So we do have to be careful. 8,900 health. Or 12 horse, sorry. It's kind of a cool color. 145 is not bad. I did pass down a 140. Don't let it bite me. Don't let it bite me. Because their bites do torpor. So the Therizino will definitely be good for wood gathering and fiber as well. We'll mainly use it as a wood gatherer because we've got the moss chops for fiber. And down he goes. Awesome. Mr. Therizino has been knocked out. Alright, so what I'll do is I'll let you guys know when this Therizino is fully tamed. So I'll see you guys in a little bit. And there we have it. Therizino has been tamed. We'll check out its stats when we get back to base. So base is 6,000 meters from here. Jesus. You know, we could travel here faster with the Sapphire. We're like a meteor. Oh, crap. We're kind of... Yeah, a fireball. Mm. And that didn't do any fall damage. Watch this guy be like a 90. Okay, I was going to say watch this guy be a 140. No, he's a 90. What about this spider? What level are you? You are a 95 male. Kill you. We can do better than that. Oh yeah, this guy cooks meat, doesn't it? And lights up fires. I kind of used you in aberration. Kind of. I forgot how good it felt to be on a pyro main. Ooh. Yes, yes. Alright. There's the village, so I kind of know where we are. Alright, so I'll see you guys back at base. Alright guys, so I've come across this Ankylo. He's only a level 100, but we only need him for like metal gathering, so I don't want anything like too crazy. I mean, he's got 
23 points into weight, which seems pretty good. So we're going to go ahead and switch over to Sapphire so we can tame him. Okay, that was a miss. Wonderful. That should not have been a miss. That shouldn't have been a miss either. There we go. And you got the carefree gene. Interesting. That was a miss when it shouldn't have been a miss. That was also a miss. And down he goes. Awesome. All right. I will let you guys know when this Ankylo tames up. And there we have it. Ankylo has been tamed. Let's go. All right, so you can go back into your shoulder form. And we will take everything back to base. And I will see you guys back at base where we compare the stats of the two creatures. Wait, is that two of them? That is two Alpha Carcarias, Eo Carcarias. One's a level 20 and the other's a 140. Okay, that's... That's very interesting. I, I did not expect to see that. Well, what is this? A Majunga Corn? Is that like... It's just a Majungasaurus with a horn on its head. That that honestly looks really cool. If you could have been like a high level, you could have been like a really cool creature to have. I wonder if... Majunga corn, that... I've never seen anything like that. Wow, okay. Probably 140, that's the 140. I don't think you're a parent. It would say you're a parent, yeah. Alright. We got a 145. A 145 male and a 140 female. If they had babies, that would have been perfect. We could have bred them up. But whatever. And then I'm thinking next episode we uh, move out. Get a new place to live and just move out. I want to find somewhere nice to live. Like, that's by a body of water, and you know, it's just, uh, it's a really cool place, and, uh, yeah, that's what I want. Alright, and we are back at base, almost, about 100 meters away. And we did a lot of exploring today. Still got the fire being cooked up. Is that from the... We still got... Oh, yeah, that's, that's from you, isn't it? That is from you, isn't it? All right, cool, cool. We'll just, like, leave you on at all times, and then you can light up fires and whatever. All right, so let's, uh, let's drop off some of our returnees. So we've got Nanny from our Aberration series. Really cool. We can use her to tame higher-level Gigantoraptors. She, she's really good. And then who is this? This is Ed from our Scorched Earth series. You know, I might use you to just uh, be like a, a guard dog, protect the base and whatever. You know what? We'll put you in here. If we can fit you in here, that is. All right. You weren't even that high of a level either. I think you were only like a 25 or something. All right. The Listro is definitely going in here. 15, you can go in here as well. This is getting a little crowded, I know. Alright. And then for the rest of them, we've got the RG. Good job, buddy. You can go over here. And Sphinx. Sphinx, you can go in here. Alright, let's check out some of our new tames. So we got a, We're a little crowded now, but... You know what? It's fine. So let's check out the Ankylo. So you have 21 into health, 32 into stamina, oxygen food, no one cares, 29 into weight, which for 100, that's good, and 22 into melee. So I'll put you here. And the Therizino. That's kind of our main thing. What do we got for you? 31 into health, 34 into stamina, oxygen food, no one cares, 33 into weight, 44 into melee. That seems really good, actually. Really good. So yeah, there's our Thurizino. What I might do off camera is get the metal we need for saddles. And I'll uh, I'll test out the Thurizino and the Ankylo next episode. But until then, that's going to have to wrap it up for this episode. If you guys enjoyed it, make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more. It would really help out a ton. 
But until next time, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.